In 1960, the Convair B-58 Hustler bomber entered operational service with the United States Air Force. It was developed to deliver a hydrogen bomb to a target in the Soviet Union. The original plan was that the B-58 would attack Russia, flying at 70,000 feet, traveling at Mach 2. No Soviet fighter would be able to touch it. Unfortunately, B-58 was virtually obsolete and it became operational. The newly developed Soviet anti-aircraft missile system was capable of shooting down any high-flying B-58. The U.S. Air Force then went to Plan B. The B-58 would now attack Russia flying at a lowly 500 feet or below and flying only at about 600 miles per hour. At the dense sea level air, the B-58 could not fly any faster. By flying low, it was hoped the B-58 could sneak under Russian radar because of the ground clutter effect. In the 1960s, there would be no war with Russia. Instead, America went to war with little North Vietnam. From 1965 to 1972, the U.S. Air Force heavily bombed Indochina. The B-58 had the infamous reputation of being the only U.S. Air Force combat aircraft to sit out a war. The B-58 never flew a combat mission in the Vietnam War. The B-58 was not built to carry conventional bombs. It could have been modified to do so, but the U.S. Air Force felt it was not worth the effort. The B-58 had only four bomb pylons under the wings. These were originally designed to carry four small nuclear bombs. The Air Force felt it was better to hold the B-58 in reserve during the Vietnam War, just in case there was also a war with Russia. As it turned out, the B-58 never flew any combat missions against any enemy. In 1970, the B-58 was retired from service. The B-58 proved to be a demanding airplane to fly. 116 were built and 20% of these were lost in accidental crashes in, a ten, in the 10 years of service. One of the most prominent features of the B-58 is the huge pod slung under the plane's belly. The plane's fuselage and wings were filled with fuel tanks. There was no room inside the fuselage for the old-fashioned large heavy hydrogen bomb. The H-bomb was slung under the belly. However, the large pod also carried a fuel tank. The plan was, was that the combination fuel tank H-bomb would be dropped over the target. Then the B-58 would fly back on internal tanks. Originally, the B-58 was designed to carry only one large heavy hydrogen bomb. As nuclear weapons became smaller and lighter, four pylons were added under the wings of the B-58. The plan was now to have the B-58 carry five nuclear bombs in an attack on Russia. To be able to clear the large pod, the front nose landing gear had to be raised straight up for a ways. The specifications for the Convair B-58A Hustler were crew of three, one pilot, one navigator dash bombardier, one defensive systems operator. The DSO operated the electronic countermeasures and by remote control the 20 millimeter Gatling gun in the tail of the plane. Length, 97 feet. Wingspan, 57 feet. Height, 30 feet at the tail top. Maximum loaded weight, 176,890 pounds. Power plants, four jet engines, each capable of 15,000 pounds of thrust with afterburners. Maximum speed, Mach 2, that was 1,319 miles per hour at 40,000 feet or above.
range 4,100 miles, service ceiling 63,400 feet. A lightly loaded B-58 could fly at 85,000 feet. Bomb load, five nuclear bombs, each capable of destroying a city. To Russia with love.